Hey everyone, it's Game Dev with Drew, and 60% of you guys are not subscribed. Please subscribe so that I can hit 400 subscribers, because we are currently at like 360. Now let's get into the video. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to be working on a pause menu, and we're going to do it very quickly. So, let's make a new scene. Uh, we'll make an other node, and it will be called a, it will be a canvas layer. That canvas layer uh, is going to be renamed to uh, pause uh, canvas. And basically, we just are going to save it into our scenes, and then we're going to add a script to it uh, under our uh, scripts called pause canvas.gd, and we'll create it. So now we have our funk ready as a void, and we're also going to take in a function which is uh, an input, which is just an input event. Um, don't worry about all this jib jab, it's just stuff from the new Godot uh, 3.5 RC uh, 6. So this is going to take an input event, and then, so an input event is just, it just, it checks for one button pressed. It doesn't check every frame, it just checks for when you press a button. And now we're just going to do uh, if event, which is right here, dot is underscore action pressed, and it should be UI cancel, which is the um, default uh, escape button, uh, but I don't need to check because I already know. And then we'll go into the next line, and we'll just say get underscore tree dot paused because Godot has a built-in paused menu equals not get tr uh, tree dot paused so basically it turns into a toggle and then we'll just save it and we'll instance our scene so we're going to go into our project project settings and add our scene into our auto load just so that it'll continue going. Do you guys remember my auto load video? If not, go check it out. It's, it's gonna be uh, in the top right corner. So scenes, and then we're gonna auto load our pause canvas dot scene. Now we'll add that, we'll save it, and go into the game. Now when we press escape, it says a true. And now when we press unescape, it says false. Remember, have the pause mode underscore in process. If it if you aren't, it won't work. I also put in the print get tree pause just to see if it would to work as well. Um, but we don't. This is just debugging because you know I'm a big debugger. So, what else can we do with this canvas? Um, why don't we add in like an actual like good looking pause menu maybe? So let's add a child's a child node, and we'll do a texture rect. Uh, the texture rect will take up the entire screen, and the texture is just going to be um, just a black. Now we have untitled.png, so we'll put that texture in there. Uh, it looks pretty big, but uh, let's just do full rect. Don't mind how big it is, just because it's going to be as big as the viewport regardless. And um, let's give it uh, a visibility. So let's modulate it and give it less alpha so we can actually see through it. And then let's make a little button. Let's make a continue button uh, or and a, leave, and a leave game button. So uh, button. And we're going to put the button in the center. And we're going to put continue. And we'll make this button around this this size. This is this is a good button. This looks like a good button. And then we can add uh, another. We'll duplicate it, and then we'll put it down here. And it's a and it doesn't matter if they're aligned because I'm a programmer and not a designer. So quit button, and this is just going to be continue. And now, if you remember signals. Go check out my signals video. It'll be in the right-hand card. Um, pressed 
uh, continue button on continue pressed. Uh, get tree. Nope. Get tree dot paused equals not get underscore tree dot paused. Basically, it's the same thing. You're also going to set it to be visible. Or actually, you can just you can just do false. And then we're going to uh, go into our visibility and we'll just go into uh, make an on ready var. Uh, continue equals continue button equals dollar sign continue. And we'll also make an on ready var continue button. Uh, nope, quit button equals dollar sign quit so on ready we're going to make quit button dot visible equals false then we're going to make continue continue button dot visible equals false but when we um start the game or when we pause we are going to make it true. And when we press continue, we're also going to make these false. Now let's make send a signal of quit. And you guys already know how to quit the game because I've done it a million times. So we'll go into pressed, on quit pressed, get score tree dot quit. And uh, don't forget, we're also going to make our text direct uh, vis invisible as well. So on ready var texture rect got uh, uh, text rect equals dollar sign text direct. And then we're going to do um, we're going to do text rect dot visible equals false text rect dot visible equal equals true there's a lot of trues and falses i'll tell you that guys don't worry uh and then we we go into our game and it works so now we press start and then we press escape and we can press continue and it continues but remember when when we uh we have to do press false so look at that when we press escape and continue we need to make it uh, instead of true. We we need to do uh, not text uh, text. So now when we go into our game, we can press start, press escape, press continue, as well as pausing it, and we can also press quit. So thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe and check out the videos that I put in the top right. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.